Has anyone ever said lies about you? Have you ever been threatened? Have you ever been exposed to ridicule because somebody is bullying you? 52% of all adolescents are victims to cyberbullying. Cyberbullying doesn't just affect children. It can also affect adults, regardless of their religion, their race, or even their sexual orientation. There are adult groups that are dedicated to harassing and hurting others. I am currently being cyberbullied. So as you can see, it can happen to anyone. Cyberbullying takes many forms. This includes anything from videos, pictures, anything on your social media. These communications seek to control, manipulate, and even falsely discredit the work you're trying to do, even if it's for the positive. These actions are deliberate, repeated, and hostile behavior intended to harm another. In many ways, cyberbullying can be worse than traditional bullying. Because of the anonymity of the World Wide Web, it's easy for some people to hide behind an alias. Cyberbullies feel safe behind their keyboards and their smartphones. They do not feel they are doing actual damage to others. But they are. Statistics indicate that people that become bullies usually come from families that have no loving home or have been bullied in the past themselves. Bullying of any kind can lead to dangerous results. You could be sued for slander, libel, or digital harassment. If you're a bully, you could be responsible for hurting somebody's family, their children, and even their business. You can even trigger somebody to kill themselves. There are actually real people on the receiving end of these attacks, and they do get hurt. Victims of cyberbullying are more likely to suffer from low self-esteem and even consider suicide. This video is dedicated to Megan Meyer, Aaron Gallagher, Jessica Laney, Tyler Clementi, and all the others that have committed suicide as a result of cyberbullying. If you are being cyberbullied, you are not alone. Please visit www.stopbullying.gov to find out the actions you can take.